Hey, what's up, guys? This is Connor from Revolution X Games, and today I'm bringing you a video on who Edward Kenway is. I'm just gonna apologize straight away for my voice because I've got a cold, but I still want to bring this video to you as soon as I could. I didn't want you to miss out on this video. First off, Edward Kenway uh, began as a young, brash Welshman born to an English father and Welsh mother. He is charismatic and clever, but has a recklessness that borders on pathological. He is generally kind, but naturally selfish, and has a habit of valuing his own ludicrous ideas long before he will consider sensible or rational approaches to any problem, and he enjoys his drink, much to the detriment of his vital organs. So this guy is a rash, reckless uh, young person in this story with an uh, English uh, father and Welsh mother. So by the time Edward was in his early teens, his family had moved to Bristol in the southeast of England where he eventually met and married a woman two years older than him, the lovely and stable Caroline Scott. By all accounts, the marriage was a lively one but Caroline soon grew tired of Edward's inability to find steady work or take his responsibilities as a husband seriously. But it was Edward's ideas about sailing as a privateer in the West Indies and earning a fortune in gold that eventually disrupted what should otherwise have been a happy marriage. Caroline eventually left Edward to return to his family's modest home leaving Edward alone with his bitter ambitions. But much to everyone's surprise, he made good on this one promise. In late 1712, he boarded a ship and set sail for Jamaica to sail with renowned privateer Benjamin Hornigold. And here, he would remain for six months until history, through Edward and his company, another complication, peace broke out. In 1713, the Treaty of Utrecht eventually ended all conflict between the major empires. British privateers were no longer needed or indeed tolerated in the West Indies, which is otherwise known as the Caribbean now, which was causing thousands of previously active sailors to find themselves out of work. Not the most ideal situation for these young and restless men. For as the old saying goes, idle hands are the devil's workshop and indeed in the following years Edward and so many of his brethren would find the devil's work far more attractive than their kings. So guys that was a little introduction of Edward Kenway what I found on the internet but I'm just going to give you a short little overview of Edward Kenway now. He takes part in a war between the English and the Spanish. He is the father of Hay from Kenway and the grandfather of Connor. Uh, he seems to be a ladies' man, unlike Connor. He's also a fearful man. He's a privateer, assassin, and occasional pirate. And he seems to be a friend of Blackbeard, who is otherwise known as Edward Teach. He sails in the West Indies, otherwise known as the Caribbean, and exploring the islands around there. He has been described as the deadliest scourge of the seas, fighting like the devil, but dressed as a man. He also seems to be a, a mysterious man, and a young British man that left the navy to embrace piracy during the final decade of the golden age of piracy. But his outfit seems to be quite a lot like Connor's with the blue on his chest. And he just looks pretty awesome in my opinion. And um, this game has been confirmed to be out November 1st. Which is not far off my prediction of October 30th. And it will be on PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox 720, Wii U and obviously pc so thanks for watching guys please comment rate and subscribe and if you like this video or have a 
some kind of comment to make on Edward Kenway, then put it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So thanks for watching guys, bye.